Hey guys, uh, this is Viren here. Welcome to uh, How to Tips and Tricks. In this video, we will see uh, how to check your PF balance. Uh, you need to go to this particular URL, unmembers.epfoservices.in. Uh, if you go to Google and you will do a PF balance check, etc. You see here UN members portal you also have this website EPF balance status now this is a very old method wherein you have to put your mobile number and all that and uh, kind of very uh, you know difficult you know uh, and it doesn't give you the right amount also so that's why uh, you should be going to this URL and this gives you a perfect uh, picture of how much balance is there in your PF account so uh, what is UN? That is a uh, unique account number. Uh, what the government did was, you know, since you, you know, people keep changing their companies, so the PF number changes. Uh, so they came up with this concept of unique account number. So now even if you change, let's say, three companies and you have three different PF numbers, but they will all be linked to this unique account number which doesn't change. And all the amount in your PF uh, can be seen here. Uh, so you should be going to uh, you should be getting into your account so I know my uh, unique account number I will log in here now once you get in th into this you can go to this option which says download and if you see this option here download passbook click on download passbook now one more thing that you will see if you see here this is my uh, entire amount that is given uh, you know the employee and the employer share and I can add these two and I can find out you know how much is there in my account I can even uh, download this uh, you see this option here which says download passbook I will get the P PDF format now the other option the other thing that you see here is there are two PF numbers that are here the reason is that you know I just changed my company two months ago and the first first pf number that is associated with my last company uh, i've still not transferred that pf and this is the new pf number that i've got in my new company so you know like i was saying both pf numbers are now associated with my unique account number all right um and there's a little a glitch in that you know sometimes when you log in here uh, it says it gives you like four days only after four days you should log in again to download the passport that's what it says um, okay now the next thing is how do you know your uh, UAN number or your unique account number now mostly your unique account number is given on your salary slip with the PF number in case you have a salary slip where the unique account number is not given uh, you can check if the unique account number exists for you first of all so let's say let's say this is your uh, PF number this is basically the format uh, and this is the unique account number okay just forget about the unique account number we first need to check whether i have a unique account number to associate associated with my pf so uh, this is the typical format of the pf number i have made up these numbers one two three four five basically these five numbers are your establishment code so this is a unique code which remains same for every employee uh, unique code that is given to your organization it will be unique to that organization so it doesn't change and this is your a different number this will be your so let's say there will be another employee who will have the same pf uh, establishment code and all these things but he may have something else here like four five six seven or something like four five seven six so this is associated with you so with these details you can find out if you have UN a number associated with you and if not then you can go and register yourself you know, it gives you an option so first of all you know you should go to this page which says uh, uh, UAN check again how did I get into this uh, I went to Google and I you know let's do it real time one I will go and say UAN status okay it says check UN status that's how I came onto this page okay so now I know my um, my PF obviously and that, that at least that I know is in Karnataka so I will go to Karnataka now within Karnataka you see there are a lot of offices 
and I can select any one. Uh, can go to various ones in Karnataka. But if you see here, my PF starts from PYKRP. So I need to ensure I get PYKRP. And then after trying everything, I select one option, and this is where my PF office is KR Purum by 3. That's how I get this. Now, establishment code, like I told you, is very unique to that uh, organization. You should you should be knowing this from your PF number. These are the five numbers that you need to put in here. This is your actual account number, which are the four numbers that you need to put in here. In case, in case you see something like this, those three zeros will come in here in the extension. But if you don't have anything here, then you need to just put in these five numbers here and your account number here. I'll put my real account number, which is this. And this one. And I will check the status. So quickly it will come up. Oops. Now you see this message UAN already activated. Please provide the following details to receive details on your registered mobile number. Now I can TCC You see this it has given me my UAN account number and if I go back if this was not existing you know it gives you an option to actually register your pf number you give in the details your password and everything and then you can you know register yourself so let's try something here i will go here and i will go here um i will use some some code uh, let's say five seven nine four and i will say three three four two Let's see if that exists. Okay, this is already activated. Anyways, if this is not activated, you'll get, get an option to activate your UAN. So remember the, uh, you know, ensure that you put, you are choosing the mobile that you have access to and remember the password. And that is how you can activate. But most of the organization, organizations, they activate the UAN on their own. So don't worry about it. So once you have your UAN, like I said, log into this and you can download your um pf uh, amount uh, or whatever is the amount in your pf and the other thing that you can do here is you can also do a pf transfer which i will be doing here now if you see there are two trans pf numbers here i will be transferring my uh, old pf amount to with the new one so i will make another video on that and, and you know share with you guys all right thank you